Hi, my name is Kareem and I'm a product manager with Amazon QuickSight. I focus on embedded analytics and today I want to talk to you about a new feature, API-based domain allowed listing. Let's look at the agenda quickly. So first, I'm going to talk to you about what is Amazon QuickSight, then what is embedded analytics using QuickSight. Then we will spend a little time on domain allow listing when you are embedding and how the new feature API-based domain allow listing can be used. And then at the end, I will give you a small demo. So what is Amazon QuickSight? Amazon QuickSight is a scalable, embeddable, ML-powered BI service. It is business intelligence at scale. What it means is that because it was born in cloud, it is easy to scale from tens to hundreds and thousands of your users without you have to managing any servers and you still pay for only what you use. You can embed analytics using Amazon QuickSight with rich APIs and SDK and also the easy one-click embedding support and you can still provide multi-tenancy to your end users. Amazon QuickSight comes with ML insights natively. Some of these insights are natural language querying where your end users can ask for insights in their natural language. You can also get anomaly detection, forecasting and auto narratives out of the box without you having to spend any engineering time to build these. Last but not the least, Amazon QuickSight is enterprise ready. It has high availability, scalability. It has some compliances already taken care of so that you don't have to worry about getting new compliances. And Amazon QuickSight supports a different variety of data sources, which are native to AWS and also external. So with Amazon QuickSight, you get a one-stop shop where you can get started with BI very quickly and very easily and don't have to worry about any sort of infrastructure, pay for what you use, embed easily, get some deep ML insights and it is enterprise ready. Now let's look into what does embedded analytics using QuickSight mean? So first thing is that you can embed the interactive rich dashboards that you have created inside your applications for hundreds and thousands of your users. They can use these dashboards to build around filter or even do data export capabilities all within your application and you can provide them a seamless experience and your users don't have to leave your application to get these insights. You can also continue the seamless experience once they are outside your application through personalized custom branded email reports where they can get insights via these email reports and these are custom branded to match your branding and your colors. So your users continue to get this seamless experience. You can also embed the authoring experience into your application. What this means is that you are giving capabilities to your powered users to build their own dashboards. And you can think of this like a monetization strategy. We are able to give this capability to your powered users. Last but not least, you can embed the natural language querying capability with Q, where you embed a Q bar and your end users can ask for insights using their natural language, such as what were sales in last quarter? What were sales in North America? And they get the insights right there in your application with simple natural language query. Now that we have seen what is QuickSight, what is embedded analytics powered by QuickSight, let me talk to you about domain allow listing for embedding. So as we know that embedding is bringing insights into your application for your end users. Domain allow listing is a critical step in this process because QuickSight wants to make sure that your data, which is embedded into your application through QuickSight dashboards, for example, is only being accessed by the domain which you have allowed QuickSight to give the data to. And that's where domain allow listing comes into picture. 
frankly, the way you would allow list a domain where you want to embed QuickSight dashboards, for example, is by going to QuickSight console and then going into management and selecting domains and embedding and adding the domains that you want to embed one by one into this user experience that I'm showing you. You can add up to 100 domains. You can also include subdomains. Now, you as a developer want to embed your dashboards at scale for different customers at different da in different domains. And for that, this is a little slow process where you have to go into the console and add the domains one by one. Hence, what we have launched is API-based domain allow listing where you can allow list the domain where you want to embed the dashboard at runtime with the same embedding APIs that you have been using to embed QuickSight dashboards into your application. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So our embedding APIs are generate embed URL for anonymous user and generate embed URL for registered user. The first API for anonymous user is when you don't want to manage users in QuickSight, but still be able to give an embedded experience to your users when they come into your application. The second one for registered users is when you are okay to manage those users, and these are few, but when you have hundreds and thousands of users in your application, going anonymous route makes more sense because you don't have to manage these users. Now, let's look at the request of one of these APIs. Here, in particular, if we look at this particular parameter now, which we have added called allow domains, where you can add your domain where you want to embed the dashboard that you want to, uh, that you are asking the URL for uh, by passing in uh, the domains that uh, uh, as a string parameter to this particular allow domains parameter. You can use this when you are embedding dashboards, a queue bar, or authoring experience. You can add up to three domains or subdomains. To add a subdomain, use asterisks. For example, https colon slash slash star dot mysite.com, which will take care of all the subdomains that will be allowed, um, where QuickSight can uh, um, easily embed the dashboard into any of the subdomains of mysite.com. The domain supported are normally HTTPS only, except we have allowed support for localhost via HTTP. Now, let me walk you through a quick demo to show you how this feature is useful. Here, I'm going to embed a call my API, which is generate embed URL for anonymous user. And I'm passing it the dashboard ID. And I'm also passing it um, the experience configuration, which is dashboards. And I'm going to generate the embed URL. Now, this is my embed URL. Here, if you see, I have not called out the allowed domain parameters. So I'm going to take this embed URL and try to embed it into a particular domain. Let me show you that quickly. So URL that was returned, I'm going to try to embed into my travel analytics SaaS application. And here, as you can see, that my embedding failed because the domain where I'm planning to embed this, which is this particular domain, has not been allow listed. I don't need to go into my QuickSight console to allow list this in the UI that I showed you earlier. Instead, I can pass this domain as allowed domains parameter in my next API call. Let me show you that quickly. So here I have the same API call, but this time I'm passing allowed domains, the domain where I want to embed this. And let me run this API call. Now I'm getting the embed URL, which I'm going to again embed into the same application. Let me show you that quickly. So let me paste the URL here. As you can see, at runtime, 
I was able to allow this a domain where I want to embed this dashboard without having to flip back and forth between the console. And this makes your life as a developer much easier as you want to embed the same dashboard into different domains for different customers at scale and you don't have to worry about managing these domains at run at runtime within the console but rather just call them in the api at runtime so with this our demo comes to an end hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, looking forward to you using this feature uh, thank you for taking time to listening to this uh, video